<laughs> Them's fighting words. V R. We'll use one of them. I I did one. You did one. We'll just merge them. Two, loop them over each one, other. Five, uh, we live, baby. You already know what it is. Back at it once again. It's the dynamic duper, 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 super <laughs> duper, 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 super <laughs> duper, duper crew. All right, you gotta improv Woo. that. Me and you. You know what I'm saying? Your mamas and y'all cousins, too. It's us, Super and Solly. We are back at it once again for another episode of Them's Fighting Words. That's right, the podcast where we talk some shit and land some hits. You already know what it is. We're switching it up this time for all of you people out there, right? Solly, tell them what we're doing different. Well, today, as you may notice, we're in a different game. We are in BFC, across the mat right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. And... We, well, first off, I am the uh, NA champion from the, the last big tournament that there was. Yeah. And uh, we're doing a little, uh, yeah, we're doing a little, little treat for y'all. It's a little, little free spar session. We're going to basically do a little, uh, you know, experiments in the VR lab of uh, what works in this fighting game and, like, go through some basics, but also maybe we'll get to the advanced techniques. We'll yeah. see how many rounds we go. And I'm just the mouth from the south trying to learn to hit. Not below the belt this time, but actually you will find out you can hit below the belt in this game. You so. can hit below the belt. Oh, in the jewels. Oh, that's some Baki the Grappler yeah, right. stuff right there. Okay, so <laughs> for all you people out there, this is going to, like I said, it's going to be a different format, right? What this is going to be mm-hmm. is uh, more of a long kind of sparring and talking session. I'm going to be you guys, right? The people who want to learn VFC, and I'm lucky enough to have the champ in the ring, so... I want to be the best poison man in the world, and I got these big old fisty cuffs, man. Solly, what are some of the things I need to know about this game, bro? All right, so you got a little bit of uh, the basics, uh, you know, for any, you know, for VR fighting. Uh, This game, uh, you know, your fists are your blocking, and uh, your elbow is your blocking hitbox, your fist is your hitting hitbox. Uh, All shots are legal, so you can do, you know, put your head down for a second. You can do straights, you can do hooks, you can do a back fist, you can even do an overhand. Uh, uppercut, this, the recognition on it's pretty good. Um, you can even do crazy shit like a spinning back fist. Oh, the crowd didn't like Amazing. that one. That was, a, that was a good hit. That was actually pretty... Did you spin around in real life for that? Yeah. Did the character model? <laughs> yeah, that thing was sweet, man. That literally looked like a spinning back fist. That was great. No, that was a literal spinning back fist. So, like... <sighs> Yeah, so yeah, this game can actually translate some some real life techniques. There's another one. Nice. That felt Little good too. That like, look, it hit me. So we we did say earlier, you can you can you really hit below? Like, how far Ten, below the belt can I hit? Nine, eight. Yeah, test it out. Seven, six, oh. five, four, Ooh. three. Oh yeah. Wait a little bit. Two, Basically, somewhere one. like right above the it's knee cool. looks to be the the spot. Right above the knee, so right, right, right below the groin. So you can't just get hit in the groin, guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. Like it. So all right. Listen, cool. I will. I will say, because people complain about groin shots, they're not as bad in VR. It's cheap. You might lose a match, but you're not like in a horrible pain, bent over. Like you can just drop one of those hands low and, uh, and block most of this. Um, now, interesting. Yeah, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to talk to you about defense. So I've noticed that we've got big, di- wildly different character frames in this game, right? You've got like some kind of like yeah, yeah. sleek kung fu martial arts fighter guy, you know, young Leota Machida yeah, looking playing guy. Tang. You know, Tang. And I'm just some big brawler. Now, does my hands actually matter being this big? Am I able to block more than like the normal person would? I believe so. So. Yeah, we can go over uh, guarding and hitboxes next. That's a, yeah, that's a good round next round. Yeah, let's, three, let me learn how to two, defend with these big one, hands. Five. So, you know, uh, elbow to hand, that's going to that's gonna all block. Same thing with, like, the shoulder. That doesn't count as a hit. But, you know, you reach around and hit the head. Uh, you can start getting that damage. So, like, if I got my uh, hands over, down here, right over. am I protecting my yeah. body for the most part? Like, where am I exposed down here? Uh, down here, I can hit you basically like I have to go under your groin to hit you. Can you hit me with any um, hooks to the body here? Hooks to the body? No. Wow. Absolutely not. I feel like a tank behind these big old arms. Now, yeah. if I lift them up here, so, where am I vulnerable? Uh-huh. 
So here's the cool feature about this game, as far as I know. Uh, your guard radius of your hands is bigger the closer you are to your face or to your core. Oh. Um, and it's not the, the hands as much grow as much as like sort of imagine like kind of in like Smash Brothers, right? They have that imaginary shield when they block. Ah, your hurt box. So your like, boxes and hurt boxes. Yeah. Oh. So like if my arms are out here, right? Try to see where you can hit me. It's like that counted as a hit. That was partially blocked. I'm like that's a hit, right? But like okay. if I'm here, go for those same shots. Like you'll probably get the one hook, but like you see that guard is so much tighter. Wow. Even in spots that it's not quite quite there. Um, which some people might say is less than realistic. I actually think it adds a level of realism because you can get defensive in this game, right? Like you can turtle up and it actually you is a valid strategy because your defense. Okay. Yeah, your defense is a little tougher. So like. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll test something out. No, I'm just going to like I want to defend. Dark. I want to defend. No, no, I want to defend. You defend? Yeah, right, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, you got those hooks. And so, like, I'm going to have to I'm, start, I feel, you know, I feel using pretty comfortable to get around here. Yeah. Some are getting through, but, like, you know, no, I, feel, I feel like I can, I can, I can rely. Now, Close. I, I notice I'm getting caught with some hooks here, though, as you're coming in. Yeah. I'm getting caught with some hooks. So, is there any way to get? Do I have to flare my hands out? Can I? You know, what, what am I so doing? There's a to couple defend things you can hooks? do, right? Yeah, you can flare your hands out a little bit. So, like, like you were doing there. Uh, I won't get through that. Um, I can get over them. Oh, that's what, actually I got over the top on that one. Ah, um, so, so the like, top of your head is a vulnerable spot, so one can come in. Top of your head, you can even, you can even, here, just, you can just try to g give me a good old bonk. Like, you can just hit straight overhead. That counts Whoa, this time. Wait. Oh, snap. Hold up a, Ten, little, a couple of bonks. Nine, eight, um, seven, six, <laughs> You can get, you five, can get that jack seven. Four, Stand still. Stand still. Three, two, one. It's a draw. <laughs> oh, that, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so post review like, here on some defense. We might go back to this, but like, so. Uh, I got more. I got more for defense. We're, oh yeah, let's keep on this sure. defense train for sure because I feel like one of the key things to poison is like being able to defend to give the poison enough time to do its thing. Like you land some hits and then you turtle up mm -hmm. and let the poison do its thing. I feel like before I was not able to really go for that as a strategy. Because I wasn't relying, mm -hmm. I couldn't get, I mean, three or four hits, and I was out in a lot of times. It was, so it's good right. to know. I, we need to dig more into this defense situation, man. Agreed. Um, I got a few tips for, like, basically improving the, the defense. Because it's something that I think a lot of people, especially if they're newer to this game, uh, they don't do. Yeah. They're like, well, I'm going to lose if I just turtle up and get punched. So, like, I may as well, right? Like, just go crazy, and, like, yeah. maybe some of these will hit. Maybe I'll, at least I'm going out swinging. Um, but you can actually three, trust your guard in this two, game. So, one, something that I recommend doing, right, like, go swing at me, is, like, kind of moving moving that guard around a little bit, and so those, like, hitboxes are always kind of changing, and then adding that, you know, that head movement and that bobbing and weaving. Like, you're doing, like, nothing to me. You can go crazy. I, I can keep this up all day. I'm not touching you at all, like, Broham. That's crazy. Yeah, so here, just try to break it. I'll... People, yeah, people underestimate. Wow, that's you bananas. You need. That's crazy. So all you were doing is moving your hands up and down. Moving my hands up close. and down. Keeping them close, moving them up and down, and also like pivoting left and right or like up and down to just keep a little bit of head movement. Because the, the other big way to mitigate damage in this game, right? So you take a headshot. Oh. That's big damage. But if you move your head away from the direction that, like, the punch is going, so, like, if this is coming here and you move that way, uh, you'll mitigate some of the damage by uh, a quick regen. So, like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Run that back by me again. So, slowly uh, now. Because I'm weird. slow. I'm a big, dumb prison guy. Basically, it encourages that, like... Uh, what's his name from uh, Hajime no Ippo? Date. Remember how he would, like, turn his head when he took a punch? Yeah. So, like, if you're throwing it right... You I turn go, like, with the that punch. way. Yeah. I turn with the punch. So in this game, like, here, swing at me full force. Yeah. 
That quest tracking. All right. So that's the yeah. That stunned me. That was a pretty good hit. Now do it again. Mitigated. Some of that. Some of that health will come back, and the stun won't be as. Uh, oh, I'm seeing your health go back bad. up. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's... Take wait, wait. Take a hit. Take a hit. Take a hit. Okay. What my? Okay, there we go. I'm about to say, dang, my hits ain't doing nothing. So I see a little bit going back up. Yeah. A little bit. So when you mitigate it, it's gonna boost back up. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's gonna go back up way faster. So like, you take a bunch of hits at me. I'm gonna dodge with the head movement. It's gonna be to keep with this lead left hook. Dang. It's just your head moving alone. It's just. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I'm not. It's I'm worth not, it. It does it. I'm. I'm. I'm not. Yeah, you can like, see. I'm like basically full health. Back to full health. Holy hell. Um. So you so have to do we, roll with the punches, right? So don't dodge yeah. into said punch. Dodge away from punches. Yeah. It is actually not like not useful in real Ten, boxing. Like that is nine, a thing you can do, right? Eight, like if you move away from seven, where the impact's going to be, you lessen the impact. Five. Um, but you set yourself three, up for a cross, two, like if you're yeah. coming in this way and you. It's a draw. Yeah. Well, back to a draw. Back to a draw. We'll yeah, pick it no, up. let's we'll do. Pick it up. We'll do a rematch. Same characters. We'll go over, go over some stuff. Okay. Two, one. I don't five. know if that did the Superman pose. That's what I was going for. It was looking like a little Baki the Grappler kind of stuff in there. So okay, <laughs> so we got with the defense, right? So we go back. Yeah. To, we have guarding your body here because your elbows. Have an extended hitbox for blocking, yeah. right? Close the elbow tracking the... in this game is actually pretty good. Like, play around with it a little bit, see so if you can look at it, right? But like, I'm doing a little chicken dance in real life, and I think it's being mimicked close to well. Huh? Yeah, I'm doing a chicken dance too. What and, uh... What I think is most important about it is that you can do that like kind of weird high guard like this, and like use your elbow across your face. That's that's valuable because like that's super annoying to try to punch against. Um, you kind of see some of like the UFC fighters use it, right? Where they kind of have like their hands like this. Hold on. Yeah. So Where try am that. I weak? That's gonna. Uh, that side. Try it now. Not anymore. Uh, I can come over top. That's about to it. Me. I gotta like, feel. Yeah, you... I gotta feel where the pain is. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, I had to like kind of jump over Just and punch over that you on elbow. That one. What about the body? Where am I weak to here? Uh, I can get under your arm and basically uh, slap Try your nuts now. with like a flicker jab. Uh, I can only throw a hook to here is basically my only shot. Or if I step out, I can maybe hit a hook to the body or to the head. Try it. Try but it. From I here, see where this. I, I am going to develop a poison guard. You understand? I, this defense is what this character I feel is going to live and die by. Right. Because if I'm out yeah, here doing uh, this and I land some poison shits on you, you know, I'm like, oh, poison. And then I sit up in here and I do this all guard. Right, I can let the... My health. Oh, no. Yeah. This is a bad matchup for poison, though, because Tang heals up real good. Yeah, um, yeah. It feels like a natural what I, counter. But I was... What I was going to say is, like, while the defense is not, like, one-to-one, -one, like, in real life, you can't just put your hand and your hand will be, like, this big. But, like, it feels realistic, right? You're tightening up, which is what you would do in a fight, um, you know, for head movement, right? If you're getting punched, you're moving away from the punch. You're not just, like, bracing it with your neck, hoping to, like, take all the full impact, right? You're going to move away with it a little bit. And it adds for the other side, right? Like, if you're, if you're aware of that, and you're kind of moving with your head uh, to avoid my punches, it adds that bit of like realist, like realism that it looks, right? Where I, like, if I'm hitting punches, you're actually like moving your head away because like you don't want to get hit. Right. Wow. Um, really good important. It's, it's what I would say is not game. like, right. I would say it's not like Ten, one to one mechanic, nine, but it's one of those eight, things where like the mechanic seven, gets the feel six, of the real world five, thing really, really four. well. Right, Three, like you feel like two, you're fighting if you have one. to like tighten up, it's move cool. around a lot, and like find your angles. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm really feeling that. All right. What? What are? So, what level of defense in this game have we covered so far? Are we still in the beginner zone? Is this like a? Uh, or have yeah, we had I the think, meter I think, yet? I think we covered the. I think we covered the basics. So, like the only other thing 
to uh, really go over is like different characters have different health regens. Tang's is pretty good. Poison's, I don't know exactly. It seems to be okay, but not great. Uh, It'd suck if it was, right? They and just... like they have certain stats, so like armor and health. So like health is literally how much HP you have over top. Armor is like when you take a punch, how much damage is reduced. Oh wait, um, armor is when like you take a punch. And... How much damage I see? So basically, punch damage mitigation.